All right, welcome to my YouTube channel. This is is great tutorial on what I do. I solve technical drum problems and also provide very important information that you can make use of for you to have better performance in your technical drawing examinations. If you're a technical drawing student, you are watching my video for the first time. I want to ask you to subscribe to this YouTube channel, put on notification bell, and help me to share my videos with your friends who are technical drawing students. And don't forget to practice this subject. This is a practical subject. You need to practice for you to master it right now i want to show you how you can solve this problem which has to do with a truncated cylinder but let me read the instruction or the question for so that we know what we have to do with this diagram here we have that the figure below shows a right circular cylinder truncated by a cutting plane xx draw question a the given view question b the plan and question c the true shape of the court surface so we want to answer these three questions using this diagram so let me explain what we have here this is the elevation or the front elevation of the cylinder where we have that the diameter of the circular base is 50 millimeters and the distance of this point where the cutting plane touch this side from the base is 15 millimeters and also the distance of this point from where the cutting plane touch this part is also 15 millimeters and the height of the cylinder is 60 millimeters so the cutting plane is cutting plane xx so what we need to do is to replicate this diagram but first of all we need to draw the plan so from the plan we'll be able to bring out this front elevation so let's look at what we need to do so the first thing to do here is for you to draw a horizontal center line horizontal center line And then we draw a vertical center line. We draw a vertical center line. Alright, so then the next thing that we need to do is to draw the circle. That is the circular base. So with a radius of 25, because the diameter is 50, so we take 25 millimeters on our ruler with our compass. And we put at this point so we draw the circle take it easy okay so we have drawn the circle so this circle we are going to divide it to 12 equal parts we divide the circle into 12 equal parts i'm using my cell square to do that turn it to this side all right circle has been divided into 12 equal parts we need to number this point so i will number this as this is zero this is one two three four five six seven eight nine ten and eleven now to draw the front elevation now so we want to draw the front elevation so to draw the front elevation i will need to come up here and draw a horizontal line like this then i will need to to draw a vertical line from this point zero on the circumference of the circle so it goes up like this and also from point six here i need to draw a vertical line it goes up like this so the next thing that i'm going to do so the next thing to do is for me to take a height of 60 millimeters here height of 60 millimeters so this is 60 millimeters so and i will draw so horizontal line draw horizontal line here like this okay so then i will take a measurement of 15 millimeters i need to get the point of the cutting plane so this is 15 millimeters from the base then i will also take 15 millimeters from here so this is 15 millimeters so i'm going to draw the cutting plane right now so the cutting plane goes like this
so that's the cutting plane so i'm going to what i'm going to do here is that i'm going to call this point i'll call it point a and i'll call this point i'll call it point b so oh, oh before that so i need to draw a vertical line from this point so if i draw a vertical line from this point so draw it into the cylinder so and also here i will draw a vertical line through this point into the cylinder then i will also draw it into the front elevation so this also i will draw it into the front elevation but looking at what i have here so the cutting plane touch this point it touch this part of the front elevation at this point so what i'm going to do is that wherever the cutting plane touch these vertical lines i will number with label them so this is point b now so this is point a on this side so this is point b and this point is point c and this point it is point d not b and this point is this point here so it's point e and this point i will call it point f here okay so those are the points where the cutting plane touch the cylinder so the next thing i'm going to do is that the front elevation so i need to make this line i need to make it a thick line so i make this also from year to year a thick line and i make this from year to year a thick line so this also from year to year is a thick line all right so the next thing i'm going to do is that so i've already drawn a vertical line from here so it touches this circle it touches at this point and it also touches this at this point and for this and for this one so it touches it but what, what, what i'm going to, just going to say here is that so we don't need to locate any point but what we need to do for this point we need to draw a vertical line from point f we need to draw a vertical line from point f down into the plan down into the plan like this into the plan so by the time we remove this part we are going to see a rough surface around here so that roughness we need to show it in the plan here so what i just need to do for that is to use my 45 degrees set square to arch this surface so first of all so this will be a thick line this will be a thick line like this then so other part i'm going to arch this surface so i'm going to use my set square to arch this surface so let me do that behind you then i will come back when i'm done with that all right so this is how the plan will look like as we have cut this part up and we have a rough surface here this is how it's going to look like so now the purpose of uh labeling this a b c d e to f is that i need to bring this labeling i need to bring it here so this point is point a here and this coming down here so this point where this line touches the circle at this point and also at this point so i will call this point b and i will call this point b prime here so b prime i'll call it b prime and this point where the cutting plane uh, where, where the uh the this vertical line touch this line it touches at this point so i will call this point c and i'll call this point i'll call it c prime i call this c prime and also for this so this is point d and i'll call this d prime here d prime here and also where this line this vertical line touches this circle here and touches it here i will call this one i will call this e and i will call this e prime then this point so this is f and i will call this f prime okay so for me to get the true shape i need those points on the plan so what i need to do now to get the true shape of the object i need to draw a perpendicular line to each of these points on the front elevation i need to draw a perpendicular line that is a line that will be at a right angle to each of these points so i need to make use of my protractor to do that so i put my protractor at this point here at this point f here so then i will make a dot on the paper 
for that 90 and I will draw a line through this point so draw a line through this point like this all right so the next is i'll put at point e here set the protractor at point e and then make a dot on the paper so then i will draw a line through these two points so like this then i will set it at point d so this is point d here where the cutting plane touch the vertical line at the center so i put a dot at 90 here and i will draw a line through these points draw a line through these points so then i put at point c you just need to take it easy one by one take it one by one don't rush it so this is a dot here then i will draw a line through this point so then at point b so put a dot here a dot here so i will draw a line so through this point so i'm extend it all right so the last one is point a here point a here so this is 90 so i'm going to draw a line through this point okay so now now that we have gotten we have projected the line so the next thing i'm going to do is to draw a prior line around around here that will be parallel to this cutting plane so what i need to do to get that done is to set my set square on this line on the cutting plane and then i will shift it to wherever i like so it has shifted okay so i will shift it now all right so okay here so i'll leave it here so just draw a parallel line like this so now the next that we are going to do is that you follow this line this is point a so here i have a here so next is b so i need to locate b and b prime on this and to do that i need to make use of my protractor so i will take my sorry i need to make use of my compass so i put the pinpoint of compass at the midpoint that is the center between b and b prime so this is the point so i put the pinpoint of my compass here and i will take this distance from the center to b anyone that i like i can take that off from center to b prime or from center to b so i will take this distance from here to here so and i will put it here following this line b here so i put it at this point and i'll make an arc here and also make an arc here so looking at this so this is b this is point b and this is point b prime here so this is uh, these are the points so next is i will take that of c so i follow this line so this is the center the midpoint between c and c prime i will take this distance from here to here and i bring it following this line c here this is the center this is the middle so i will make an arc here and then i will make an arc here so this is c and this is c prime here so next is for d so this is the midpoint so i will extend it to d or d prime anyone that i like i follow this line d here put at this middle here i make an arc here and i make an arc here so next is e so following this vertical line so this is the midpoint so i will extend it to e or e prime so take this distance and put it coming to go with this line here so here i will make an arc here and make an arc here so this is point d here this is d and this is d prime so this is e prime and this is e here so the last one is f so putting it here extend it to point f here or f prime anyone that i like from the center i make an arc here and i make an arc here like this so this is f and this is f prime here okay so we have this point so this point we are going to join them together 
with the use of French curve to obtain the true shape of the cut surface of the cylinder. So I need to use my French curve to join this together. So I'm going to do it now. You are going to see the way I'm going to do it. So this is where we are joining it. So we are joining everything to point A here. So I can join these three together like this. Okay, so then and join this together um, and join this together and join this together so I'm done with that so then I will turn it here so I'll turn this Join this together. So join this together. So I will join this together. Now join this together. All right. So I've joined all the points together. So and then I need to make this. I need to make it a thick line like this so the roughness also we have to show it also in the true shape we have to show it in the true shape so all i need to do is to make use of my to make use of my 45 degrees square to do that so setting it here so my 45 degrees square will not work so i need to make use of 60 degree side so draw draw the arching lines on this surface all right so this is the solution to the problem so we draw the given view and we also drew the plan and also we have the true shape of the court surface so it's as simple as i've shown it here all you need to do is to practice thank you for watching and thank you for listening keep on practicing and god bless you